Welcome to another edition of Wardy Screencasts, where today we're going to continue analyzing text and figuring out how the writer developed the theme. In relation today, we're going to work with plot and how plot development helps create the theme of a text. Theme, remember, L cubed, life lesson learned. Learning target, how writers use plot development to build a theme throughout the narrative. Of course, common core. My class, we've talked about this, uh, determine the theme, and really the relationship between characters, setting, we've worked with those two today, focusing on plot. So theme, we went over this last week. Who learns the lesson? We determine the reader learns the lesson. Through the eyes of the protagonist, the main character, who has the ability to change or evolve, what happens when someone learns a life lesson? How does it affect him or her? That's what you have to look at. Uh, the character, how they're, how they change from the beginning to the end, which we worked with contrasts and contradictions. The character is doing something opposite to what they've done the entire time, or opposite from what you would expect based on the character. Usually, that change in the protagonist is a contrast contradiction, and they're going to learn it based on one part, the plot. Let's get into it. You may or may not recognize this. This is a form of the plot chart, which is also called Freytag's Pyramid, the technical term. Remember, you have the exposition, the rising action, it's almost like a, you know, a roller coaster. Then the climax, tension goes and woo, fall down toward the dunomont, or the resolution. All right, here's another way of looking at it. So you have the start of the story, the rising action as the action's rising. Now, here's what we're going to focus on. The tension builds. There's conflict throughout. Conflict will be a future lesson coming up shortly. But the tension builds. Well, as tension builds, eventually something has to give. In a story, it's going to give it the, when it gives and the conflict explodes, that's where you get the climax. If this situation, this conflict, when it explodes. If this climax never happens, the ending of this story is different. All right. This right here is we're going to learn a lesson through. So just think of you know when a conflict in your life explodes, the tension just explodes. You learn something about yourself. You approach life a little differently. It's gonna be the same thing in a story. So after that situation, you're gonna to get to the falling action, but this is where you're gonna have a result, you know, some kind of change or possibility for change. The result of that climax, of that conflict exploding, is going to lead us to figure out what that theme, what that life lesson is. Let me use an example. Sandlot. If you've seen it, awesome. If you haven't, it's okay. I'm going to give you enough information to not be a spoiler. Spoiler alert, spoiler alert. Not to spoil anything. However, enough that you'll be able to follow along and see what one of the main, or one of the themes is not the theme. Movies can have two, three, four, five, six different themes going on. A bunch of different life lessons. This is one possibility. So theme, remember, life lesson learned. We're going to learn a life lesson about fear. If you remember, the kids when they're playing baseball in the sandlot behind you know, center field is this guy played by James Earl Jones. The kids are scared of him. And the way we knocks on his door, baseballs get hit in the backyard. He has a doll named Beast. You know, this conflict between him, Beast, within themselves, it rises, increases. There's a bunch of tension building. And then when this dog gets a hold of an autographed Babe Ruth baseball, which has been brought to the, to the sandlot, All of a sudden, the conflict really blows. And they have to go in the yard. They have to try to get this ball out so the, one of the young men doesn't get in trouble at home. The dog ends up chasing one of the boys throughout the neighborhood. They end up having to come back. So that that's where the tension explodes. Do we let the ball go? Don't we let it go? Oh, no. We can't go in there because the dog's going to bite us. Oh, no, we can't knock on the guy's door. He's going to get mad that we hit the ball over there. Now, and we've, in the, the yard, and now we've annoyed his dog. His fence ends up coming down. 
it just explodes. In the end, they end up having to go over and tell James Earl Jones about what happened because they end up knocking the fence down. They have to own up to it. They're still scared to do this. If the ball never gets hit over here, we don't have the fence getting knocked down. We don't have them going to knock on this guy's door. This changes everything. This is where, uh, I would argue, the climax of the story happens. The tension you know, partly exploded here, and the kids learn a lot through this. So they end up knocking on his door. They find out he's a nice guy. He gives them a replacement, Babe Ruth autographed baseball. And the kids learn a life lesson about fear. You, know, you could take it a couple different ways. One being, don't be fearful of somebody until you get to know him or her. Don't be scared to... Basically because things can get worse if you don't confront your fears. So anyway, that would take us... Remember, tension builds. You get to the conflict, it explodes. In the case of Sandlot, the ball going in the yard. Stuff happens. The change. Hey, these kids in this case learn the lesson. Go knock on somebody's door first before you try to uh, go in their yard. But you can take that big real picture, which is what you want to do with theme. But anyway... Today's focus, plot, theme, when conflict explodes, look for that. Look for that climax. That's going to help you figure out what the theme is. Wardy, out.